Hey everybody, and welcome back to Ready Steady Play. Hello! Chris is here, and we're playing Small Islands. Designed by, we should remember this, Alexis Allard and uh, Aureli Gara Garani. Uh, I think it's designed by Gara Alexis Allard and oh, sorry, art, art by yes. Aureli Gurani Garino. That's not a difficult surname, and yet we're both really struggling with it. Garino. Garino. There you go. Garino. I'm going to trust that that's correct. And it's published by Lucky Dead Games. Yeah. And uh, this was kindly a review copy that they gave. They actually gave us two review copies. One for me and one for Chris. So that we could go that's away nice and do them. independent research. Play it independently and then come back and review it together. Which I've done. Chris did his homework. So I'm going to win. <laughs> I'm going to give him a run for his money though as best as I can <laughs> so let me tell you a little bit about Small Islands because this is a one to four player game mm -hmm. but it actually says on the back of the box that it works exceptionally well at two mm -hmm. that's why I was so eager to try it because Deborah loves car uh, tile laying games um, and we like playing two we lo I, I, I love two player specific you know designated two player games which this isn't but it apparently works very well at two player. Even says on the box. Ah, I should have played that. Zoom in on that, editor person. In, in the bottom corner there it says it says excellent two player game. And it has a solo mode, which I haven't tried. So, in this game, we are exploring an archipelago, which we will be building. So I guess we're explorers come gods. <laughs> <laughs> the, the rule book has do you want, do you want to read the section of the rule book? Little, little, uh, story. Oh, there's a little story blurb. Ooh. Yeah. Since the beginning of time, humans have lived in harmony. Harmony. <laughs> I can read. Damn it. Since the beginning of time, humans have lived in harmony along the coast of the great continent. Hostile flora and fauna have made inland exploration impossible, but gradually the clans have tuned to the sea, turned to the sea, and acquired new knowledge regarding nature, sun, and the wind. Recently, a few courageous explorers discovered a magnificent archipelago far across the immense blue sea, filled with vital resources. Your clans as leaders have selected you to represent your clan. Explore the heart of these newly discovered islands, seek out natural resources, and bring the temples of an ancient civilization... God damn it. And bring back wealth and prestige for your clan from these many islands! The small islands. So yes, we're explorers, basically. It doesn't say anything in the rules that you can't build a big island, but uh, I think that it wouldn't be in the spirit of the game. As I said, there is one objective card, or scoring card, I should say, which uh, it does score points for the size of having an large island. So, mm. so it is. it says here it's a 30 minute game, um, which may well be true. Um, it doesn't seem particularly long, but uh, what we're gonna do is we've got, um, in our player colors here, we've got four little houses, and we've got four little tokens which we can use to modify these tiles, which we're going to be laying out. And the tiles here, these are the starting ones, but um, there's a whole set, so we're going to be laying out these tiles here. And, of course, following standard tile placement rules here, you're going to just uh, match up the lands and the waters to create islands. And the islands are going to have docks on the outside and resources on the inside, as well as these temples and these little... Um, Campsites, let's call them campsites. Uh, foundations for buildings, we'll say. Quite right. So foundations for your buildings there. Now, in a turn, what you can do is you can place a tile, well, you will place a tile, and then you may put one of your little tokens on the map to modify what's already there. Note that you don't have to place it on a tile you've just placed. So you can put a little token out there, and that's all you'll do on your turn. What we'll do is we'll take turns placing tiles and possibly a token, although you only get four, and once they're gone, they're gone until this stack here runs out, revealing the exploration token, which will allow us to end the round if we so choose. If we choose not to, we'll continue to draft the tiles from these three here and refill them from this larger pool at the back. These four stacks will come in later rounds to replace this one. When we decide to end the round, the first person who chooses to do so may select a boat from the four here. Note that you can select either of the black boats or the one in your player color. These boats will flip over to a player's color in a game with more players. So a four-player game, you'd have all different colors. So you could only pick one of the boats. So you could only end the round once. But in this game, Chris or I may end the round up to three times. 
When someone places the boat, they'll trigger the end of the round, and we will have an opportunity to build our little houses onto the islands on the board. And they'll go into these positions here. Now, there are a few little catches here, because once you build a house on an island, you cannot build a second house on that island. But when you do build a house on it, you'll score the island. And if you take the only foundation, you'll also be blocking someone else from building there. Of course, if an island isn't finished, that means that um, there's still potential for someone to add on to it later and build there themselves. Mm -hmm. But here's the catch. We've got two decks of cards over there. And what we're going to do at the beginning of the round is deal each player three cards from each deck. That's normal. <laughs> <laughs> I'll give you two simpler examples. <laughs> I've never seen that before, I didn't realize that existed. <laughs> and what you'll see is we've got some exploration cards here. Sorry, they're called mission and reward. That makes sense. These are the mission cards, and these are the reward cards. And so the mission card is a criteria, and the reward card is the benefits for fulfilling the criteria. So what this means is that um, at the end of the round, when you're putting out your houses, you can only score points for islands that display these symbols here. Yeah, but you can only place houses on, on those islands. Yeah, you can only place houses on the islands that display these symbols here. And if you do so, you'll trigger the scoring shown here. In this case, two points for each resource of the fewest on that island. For the, for the one resource of which, the fewest, which there are the fewest. So if I pop this down here, I've made this legal for this scoring condition. Of course, I mean, this is my token in Chris's house, but let's pretend they're the same. And uh, it, could, so, it could be your token. It's not a problem. Oh, that's true. I can mention you. So maybe I accidentally helped Chris, because this is hidden information for the whole round and only revealed during scoring. Uh -huh. So now Chris can legally put his little house down here, and he's going to receive two points, because the fewest resource on this island is, of course, the, uh, the plant here. You'll note that the temples don't count towards this. And then he also gets just plus two points for that. So four points in total for this house. Not bad. I'll do that. Not too bad. <laughs> So that is uh, what we're going to do. We're going to get three of each of these cards at the beginning of the round. We're going to pick the two we want to make our scoring condition for the round. We're going to select two, one of each type, to save for later. And we're going to discard the other two back into those decks, which will be reshuffled and dealt out each round. That's worth noting, just there is a uh, kind of beginner's version, um, which I haven't played with. Um, but there's, there's objective cards which essentially amalgamate uh, mission cards and reward cards into one card. So instead of choosing, instead of having to choose one of each, you just choose one objective card, and it gives you kind of two things that work well together. So you. this does the uh, the Lego scoring for you. Yeah, po po possibly. Easier. Yeah, possibly like a more family friendly version. Yeah, potentially. It's nice no, we're not to have. playing that. No, we're hardcore. <laughs> <laughs> so we're going to deal three of these. Um, I can't remember which is which. Which are which? Those were the... Um, those are the reward cards. Those are the reward cards. Oh, that makes sense. They have the gems on them. And we're also going to have three... What have I done? <laughs> not what I did there. Uh, we're also going to have three um, mission cards. And then also we're actually going to have three... Um, sorry, two tiles each for a hand. So, oh, yes, that's right. So, it should be noted that uh, the game ends when all four boats have been placed out. We'll do the final scoring for the uh, fourth boat, and that'll end the game. Or, and there's no extra final scoring, it's just the same scoring at the end of each round. Or, when uh, we actually run out, or there's six tiles left? When there's only six tiles left? Uh, if, there's, if, if, no, if, if we were unable to refill the uh, this half six tiles to begin the next round with. We right, but that seems very unlikely. In a two-player game, we're just it's, we're just going to play the four rounds basically. <laughs> but if you ever didn't have enough tiles to refill the expiration um, tile, you would also win the game. And uh, during the scoring, you may place up to four houses on the board. That's why we've got our little houses here. And at the end, you will refill back up to four houses. So you'll also have the option of putting out four houses. This is a super interesting. Uh... Ooh, I like these two as a pair. Ooh. Oh, should we decide who's going first? It doesn't matter to me because I'm a badger. Who's going first? This person. You're going first. Ah. Oh, so you guys play starting tiles however you wish. And they're double-sided too. <gasps> I could make this sex code. You have so many options. Oh, Chris, I don't know. Ooh, I like that. Let's keep that one for next round. Yeah, what, 
Should I have looked at these cards bef or built this first? I think you built this first. Okay, I will not check the cards then. I don't think, do you want me to check? I don't think it matters that much. I already forgot what I did. <laughs> I chose anyway. <laughs> All right. I think these are the ones I'm getting rid of, so I'm not going to change my mind. I'm uh, going to check it. These are the ones I'm getting rid of. Yeah, that's part of setup, and choosing these is part of uh, preparation. So yes, that's first. So we get to know what the start is. Let's go with the um, starting tiles like before we choose our things. That's fine because I built this, thought I'd picked those, and now I've done something else. So it's <laughs> it's all foobar. Ooh, I don't like these. Oh, well, I'm getting rid of these two. Get out of I'm here, those keep two. You, and I guess I'll. I mean, between I don't think I'm gonna use you guys later either. So I'll keep you, I guess. Oh, I don't know. You. Uh, I'm getting rid of you. Mike's getting rid of you. And he's getting rid of you. And these are mine for later. And these are mine for now. And that's it. You can always check what you planned. Okay, this is what I plan to do later. And this is what I'm doing right now. Get rid of these uh, introductory objective cards. Let's go. Alright, so... You may drop the tile into your hand. <laughs> I didn't even look at these tiles. So that you'll have three in your hand, and then you can place one. Ooh, give me this. I'm already dissatisfied with my hand. I made another little bit. Interesting. That's a secret. These seagulls denote starting tiles. So. So now you know. I'm gonna grab this one. No, <gasps> octopus? No, this one. No. This, one. this one actually. Abandoned octopus. Is sad. The octopus has been abandoned because this is much better. I'm gonna place this one like this. No, that's a shitty island. I don't like it. I mean, it's like it's got a temple and a leaf and the dragon fruit. I don't see what you could possibly be complaining about. No, don't like it. You're just being difficult. Do you know what I'd like? What? For everyone to be able to build on this island if they so Oh, I need to pick a tile first. You do. Um, you can take fine. the other corner one. But maybe I want to help out Octopus Man and also see if I can like maybe round off this big, big ass end piece here. Yeah, I'll take a. Stop making a giant this. island. That wasn't the plan. <laughs> you specifically spoke out against this strategy. Yeah, I did. I did. But uh, do you know what? I'm a hypocrite, which I feel is like a fundamental part of you. I'm going to turn this this way around. For no particular reason. Because I want to get that mint away from my temples. I'm going to take... The long and winding island. Does, does, does that even go that way? Yeah, it does go that way. Um... See there. Oh, I'm dying about that, Chris. <gasps> Double anchor. Give me those anchors, baby. You're big into anchors, apparently. Apparently. I never realized you were so nautical. What What are you doing with this? Do you have the one that you get points for giant islands? No. You don't? No. Nope. So what are you doing? I don't know. I just wanted to make a giant <laughs> island. <laughs> You're also making a lagoon <laughs> with an octopus in it. But look, you can get in and out the lagoon through the secret cove. <gasps> Oh my god, I didn't even spot that. That's a, that must be how the octopus got. That's not an octopus, it's a squid. Actually, there's isn't another it? one over here, that's too. It's a squid. Oh, yeah. Uh, that's that's it's definitely, definitely a squid. calamari. <laughs> Is that what you call squid? <laughs> Imagine a pet squid and you call it calamari. <laughs> like having you a get pet. shortened to cow. You like having a pet pig. <laughs> 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 that sounds like this one that actually has probably happened at some point. <laughs> what is cow short for? Uh. <laughs> I'm really concerned about this island. Why? Because it looks like you're getting a lot of points for it. Nah. Because you could be getting points for... Oh my god, I tried to think. But look, anyone could go there. You could go there. Yeah, I know, but I don't... I actually forgot what I was even scoring. It's fine. I wouldn't even worry about it. Um, I think I... What do I want? I could put all of my houses there. You only place one house per one, one, one house, house per island, island that's so. right. So I'm gonna grab that I one. I literally just explained that and immediately forgot it. <laughs> what do I have in my hand? Oh, more exciting I'm things. I'm going to have to. Hang on, I haven't placed yet. Oh, I don't care about that. 
This is like genuinely not easy. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna do this. No, I'm not this dumb. I'm gonna start a new island. Right here. I don't know. It's very close to my island, Chris. It could easily become one island. Boo! <laughs> no one owns the island. No, because that's one's sitting on the edge of this one, is it? No, I knew this one, is it? Yeah, did I? <gasps> I could take a boat! Yes, you could. Would you like to? No, I'm good. Okay. <laughs> so this is replaced from... No, no, that's from... Well, it doesn't matter. I've pre-made these stacks. But... Fine, I saw nothing useful. <laughs> what happened? The computer went into sleep mode. Oh, okay. <laughs> I don't know why I didn't do that earlier. When we were filming for like four hours, it was awake the whole time. <laughs> now it's decided to go to sleep for it some got reason. Sleep. <laughs> Look, Chris, I've sabotaged your small island plan. No! <laughs> that's actually, like, I mean, I don't care that much, but that's the point. <laughs> <laughs> My agenda here is to kit. I want two, two, two islands at most. <laughs> um, I just realized that there's no legal place to place a boat. <laughs> this is <laughs> Well, then. I guess you better fix that. You need to pick a tile first. Jesus Christ. <laughs> <laughs> Chris is, uh... Um... Yeah, the, the practice uh, sort of round we had was so much simpler than this, and then I immediately learned how to troll. <laughs> I'm gonna do this. Sure, that's probably fine. And then... Yeah. Now it's your turn. Neat. And now it is possible to end the round if you so choose. That's true. We don't have to. I don't have to do anything, Chris. You're not the boss of me. I was just the boss of me, except for me and I also learned. the Patreon supporters. <laughs> <laughs> Who have a vote every month on what we play. <laughs> and they tell me what to play, and I'm like, yes. Do they, do they tell you to play this? They didn't tell me to play this. This is this. Is, we picked this on our own, actually. I know. We've already fulfilled this month's obligation on the Patreon. Um, maybe not yet. Depends on the release order. It, it, we filmed it. <laughs> okay, I'm going to end the round because my scoring is somewhat limited for this op, and I'm really worried that Mike is getting huge scores in this big <laughs> island. I can't believe I've let him do that. <laughs> Like, I don't... Like, Deborah and I were not playing... Uh, well, we'll see. Maybe Mike's done terribly. If yeah. Mike's getting a really good score, which I suspect he is, then Deborah and I were not playing this at a, at a, at to, a, to a sufficient strategic level. Like, holy crap. Um, so I'm going to end the round by grabbing a black boat and placing it tomorrow. I'm ready to save Don't put it there! That's the only place it can go! <laughs> you spoiled the surprise! <laughs> Bye! <laughs> Come back anyway. <laughs> subscribe so you don't miss it. Hit the bell notification. Subscribe. Like. Do you love us yet, algorithm? Do you love us? <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Patreon. <laughs>